Looking to take it hard here, but Tens might have the angle out towards Laz. No, he looks away for a second. He's gonna get shut down. There's Bjor Lulu on the board. Both of those Sentinels coming online. Dapper gonna be taken off. Will stick into the duelist ways, and Sentinel's actually on the back foot. The remaining two rotating over from A mm -hmm. with that spike going down. You can see a nice little retake. Yeah, could be sick here. Spotting out a couple of players, and to be fair, there's a couple of players who are very low health right now on the BBG side, so there still is some hope for Sentinels to come through, and Zon's starting it the right way. Yeah, it's tough. Low health taken down now, Will. To try and find something. He needs to escape from the hot hands. Both of them just one tap away, but it away by the paranoia. Rarkar gonna dash on, finds the first onto Zoms. Again, this is the bonus for BBG and Tens. Looking to make it hurt, finds it through the wall, sick to find another, starts mowing him down. The light shields don't matter. It's three for sick and Tens to close it out. All five kills between. We see a whole lot, mostly on the attacking side, but the fight for the orb for sick. One up top, the paranoia doesn't find it. Tens is able to trade the kill out onto critical and Rarkar Able to sneak away for now. Tens, mm. unfortunately, not walking away unscathed, though. 42 HP as we go back to the drawing board in a 4v4. Yeah, Sentinels was really hoping to get a better exchange than that. One for one is kind of bare minimum. You really want to trade two for one or, or get away stop free, and they didn't do that. That means the defense is spread a little bit more thin. They have no coverage on middle. They're going to have to gamble their rotates a little bit more. You can see that Tens is wanting to assist early to kind of cover mid as they feel that pressure on the B side, but Shazam hits a beautiful kill onto Will. And that's going to alleviate a little bit of that pressure as they have a great reach with that bolt but the kills just keep getting traded right back we're still even across them still making their way over here through catwalk to street but it looks like they'll get there he gets behind the generator zombs is committed though a great kill on sarah car poach quick to exchange able to find one shazam looking to spray it out onto two now in a 1v1 as somehow some way shazam is able to net a kill it's poach it's dapper full hp on the cypher as Poach plays inside the smoke and gets to play around the clock a little bit, has a couple of shrouded steps. And I might not be in a position just yet to find it. He sees the shoulder, finds the head, and Poach with a 3k to clutch the round. Yeah, that will stop the push onto the site. Does manage to find a tag, but that's going to be it. A sick backs away. Knives in hand. Ten's going to go toe to toe, but Poach sits him down. Rarkar's still standing, but the kills go back and forth. The spike is planted. We're in a 3v3, and it's down to the last Zoms. All by himself, the first to spot the action early in the round to cause the rotate. Now needs to try and clutch things up with 75 health and a dream. Both members playing towards the back of the side. Both members gonna peek. Well, that's a pretty good start. Zoms able to cut down the jet. Poach trades it right back. And there's the lockdown. Now there is a shock dart lineup here. Shazam not looking to go for it instead. Waiting on that drone just to play retake. And it, it didn't clear out the entire site, so those nano swarms to be used to try and clear out heaven mm -hmm. and hell sick with the curveball able to find a flash onto a few once more that turn not gonna get the info 10 able to spray down two this could be the round that sentinels needed it's down to the last two make it a 2v2 as will goes huge for another kill looking for one through the smoke shazam narrowly escaping the spray through the wall recon bolt looking to get some information and it might just do that to the players in heaven no it doesn't and now you're not too sure you might have to clear out jenny as the empress is still on the overheal is still on one gonna drop down dapper waited to do just that shazam able to find that kill through the wall dapper to pick up another sentinels back in the working critical gonna kill up a hunter shuri of his own unfortunately not able to find too much just yet the ultimate the back of the site but rarkar sniffs it out and takes them both down b site completely open at this point and the post plants are pretty darn good you got one out towards b main taking a drop down to logs be taking out immediately tens going up top with the shotgun but not able to find the kills and it's all up to shazam here who's duking out inside the dark cover only 75 hp make it 15 and almost zero with another shock dart to come on through i mean a couple of kills might be the best that he finds his information is given up, making a third before falling. Critical gonna find the imposter, take him down in BBG. Recurling into, again, a empty BB on site as Sentinels are playing for the retake. Oh, but Dapper's with a close angle, not able to find anything there. And again, it was a buy round for Sentinels, so their economy surely to be hurting after this as they're chopped down to just the last oh, two wow. players. I mean, if it's not B, uh, it's not a B. How good of an IGL poach can be, again, I thought... Anbox looked way better when he was leading that team than they do now. Um, but I couldn't expect them to be this hot and heavy. But Tens finally responding with an op pick. This is like the first time I feel like all game long Sentinels has had an early man advantage. That wasn't traded back right away.
it is finally that that weapon of choice for tens right that operator enhanced the first time he's really been able to get it shazam there to back him up but there it is there's the trade so like you said it's that one kill that they're able to squeak away with absolutely nothing in response but the next one to follow up is going to be traded out. Sentinel's still with that man advantage as the drone looks to get something cleared. And to be fair, BBG's success rate on Ascent has also been quite good. I want to say that they've won like nine of their last ten or something like that. But it was against lesser opposition in comparison to the quality teams that Sentinels were beating recently. So you got to add that caveat. But they are not struggling here. But we finally see maybe a bit of a shutdown taking place. The Bucky up close from Sick finds critical. And this puts actually Rarkar all on the one versus three. He's got the sight, but he doesn't have Spike. And again, he is definitely outmanned here, and time left. is dwindling. And I think an upgrade as well for Six, so no longer going to have just that Bucky as the trap wire goes through. Dapper gets the information, tosses out the right click, the camera, everything. Kind of just toying with their food here at this point. Spike down on the ground, Dapper going to jump race. Somebody tries to do something freaky. Rarkar quick to take the sight. Six trying to answer with the run it back. Able to find one. Ten gets one as well. That's the kill in mid. We're no longer going to have a flank in Bjor. 3v5 Hunter Shear trying to trade it out. Hey, no better time than now to just send everything you've got. It's just Sam's able to find a shock dart kill. The spike has fallen as has this. And Paranoia is going to be traded out. Nano Swarm is going to be used and, and stuck on the side of all himself. Dapper going to get caught out on the lurk. So no longer have to worry about the Cypher. But the A hit completely underway, but almost completely stuffed. Shazam intends the last two standing here. And they do have that spike in hand, but Shazam... Not really in a position to push that one out just yet until the door closes. The 3v2 is still incredibly winnable here. No, it is not. Rarkar with the flank of his own able to find the kill. The Leer not going to find the blind. And Shazam not able to find the kills. EB Ferris could definitely do wonders for some of the guys on the Sentinel side, but they're just getting absolutely chumped right now by the SMGs. Absolutely run through the blender that was middle there. Only Zom Aggressive, up close and personal. He's going to get spotted out towards Logs, forced to dash away, but Dapper will find the kill, and Tens is there on stairs, looking to close out the entire site. It's all Sentinels this time around, as Poach is able to get one back, but in a 4v2... It's it's looking a bit difficult here, Dust. He's able to at least upgrade up to a Phantom off of the Spectre. He and Bior will be paired up together here in the back halls, but Zoms has a good little angle here. They can hear the pistols being fired. They know exactly what they're up against, and honestly, saving this Phantom might be an idea here for Poach. He does seem to be backing off, trying to do just that. Now, Bior having just a judge might look to jump in and see what havoc he can create, I guess you could say. He knows that they have to escape this side at some point, and he's going to try to you know, get in here, see what he can do. Doesn't seem like he's really going to be given really an opportunity. And so you're probably just going to see him push in and, and probably just die to the spike explosion or something like that if he can't wind up getting a frag. Ocean, oh, meanwhile, losing the Phantom. Not able to carry it over. And so, yeah, indeed, Bjorn will jump. Net Odin screaming. Oh, no. Coach. Oh. To be taken down. Bjor is also spotted out by a beautiful recon bolt by Shazam. And right back to the position he was once in. Pushes through the blaze and able to trade the kill back. So they still manage legend. to play the buddy system. Sends tens. Excuse me. Sends tens. Out of the same thing. I was going to say <laughs> aggressive on the side, but a bit too aggressive. Bjor finds another. Huge. Sentinel's now a man behind on this attack. And around it, they seem to have a huge edge on. They caught Poach completely in awkward space. He was not expecting their timing so quick up cat. But it doesn't matter, his teammates are recollecting the round nonetheless. Now they have a 4 on 2 right now, it's only going to get better as they just now wax the site, only losing one player. The one player poach that got caught out of position to begin style is just not working. You know, maybe he needs to pull back the reins a little bit, I'm not really sure, but that shit, that is his identity. It's the problem, and that's a great trade, but Will is going to bring it right back for BBG. Oh my goodness, the escape with the dismiss. And they have control of A lobby now and man advantage. Rarkar was able to find a kill. The Odin going to cut Tens down once more with the Bladestorm in hand. Critical still going to work. Trying to lock down mid, finding so much damage. But Dapper able to trade back two. Zom's in a pretty tough spot. Should he be able to find this one on the Poach? Looking a whole lot more doable. Poach that mm. spike 
in a pretty bad spot. The drone gonna get the information, the shots to come through. Poach gonna be spotted out, but... The entirety of the VCT when he was playing for Sentinels for the Masters event, well, they wound up winning it. He was one of the best players on the team when they did so. So it's no, sh you know, Mark against him as a play Due to that drone, now we see Sentinels looking to reclaim control of that. They already have control of market criticals, making sure they can't get into defending spawn. Darts are being launched in here into the site. Now the Hunter's Curious are being exchanged. Bjor and Critical oh both God. land. What a massive blow to Sentinels that was. And it might be over now. Down B. 30 seconds left. Yeah, it's all up to tens here in a 1v5. A Sheriff and a Marshal try and get things done. The Sheriff with his deputy by his side. That Marshal, the dash away, the shot. Sentinels. So it looks like an early B take. Sen's gonna hop on in, look to get that spike down. A couple of shock darts might deter. It is gonna find Ooh. the kill, but the spike is down. So we find ourselves in a post plant, but the kills are starting to come on through. And Rarkar able to get on the board out through mid. Sick from downtown, finds the dink, backs him away. And there's Dapper to back him up. Looking for the next, it's low HP. As BBG against the clock, down a player. Spike halfway defuse those. Will still standing strong on the Phoenix. No utility to his name. Shazam playing out towards headshot. Dapper, Loach HP as well. Recon bolt for the bait. Shazam for the 3K and it was winnable. But Sentinel still maintain control of a long C position. And what I, I will say what bodes well is the hot hands was used, so nothing really to from downtown stop that spike outside of the rifle shots. Couple still playing on the site. Will with hot hands of his own. Queuing that one up, waiting for the hit. There it goes. Quite possibly clears out. Yep, it would have cleared out Zom's position. It said Zom's is dead towards the back of the site. The, the payoff here in the force. It's all coming together as Shazam, the last one standing. Goes down with a shock dart from Critical. A flawless round in response. They flip the coin and it landed on Built by Gamers. Find the kill. The That's blades so are big. also now online. If he could have stopped Rarkar, there was actually still hope for Sentinels in this round. But now it seems so unlikely with so little time. But Zoms, what a huge double kill from him. He's opened the door back wide open. It's Omen v. Omen for the round. And the spike. Just enough time to get it planted, Poach. New IGL for this EBG squad. Zom's gonna back away. Two HP. He gets taken down a round that Sentinels tried to steal back, but built by game turn. That is a tall ass considering how BBG have been playing here. Raw car still defending this window position, not allowing them access. Has the blade somewhere available as well for that extra bit of movement accuracy, of course, and the precision of the dagger will. Still keeping tabs on B from the link, but he's not overcommitted. He's going to be able to back off if he needs to to help play for the retake. Oh, never mind. Dapper hits a blinder there. That is going to be spiked down, and Shazam has control of the link. That's so huge. Paranoia going to go wide. Doesn't find Shazam. It does hit Zoms, but it doesn't matter. Poach to fall no matter what, and BBG now on the back foot. Playing against the clock as a spike planted for this A-Link area. Zom's gonna get dinked through the wall. The Phantom not have to take him down, but the Knives are the Blade Storm. Starting to pay off here for Rar Cars. It looks to push through a cloud burst of his own. Hunter Fury gonna try and deny things for a moment. Dapper just trying to sneak away. Ooh. By as much time, he hops up and he's taken down. Rar Car might have the time, might have the space. The Hunter Fury coming from mid here. As Shazam pushes on up the dagger, or not the dagger, excuse me, the recon bolt. Might just buy enough time, it's halfway through this. Op just gives away the round of Sentinels, practically as Poach waits for his teammates to bring up the rear. This has been back and forth, but it's looking like Sentinels will find themselves in the lead. Yeah, this was a nice little hit on A, just rapid, big op picks from 10s. Not allowing Bjor to escape either, able to take him off the board, just... You know, clean entries here from Sentinels. They didn't lose any players along the way. Barely even lost health. I think Tens got dinked on a dash to the double stack box, but that was really about it. Now, Critical here in the post round, basically, will be able to pick up Zom. So, forcing a little bit of rebuying on a Sentinels. In fact, a little bit more rebuying now as Dapper spawned down. So, Ambox getting some big X. This is very costly for Sentinels. Yeah, they win the round, but it's not like they have a lot of cash reserves built up. So, forcing these reaps, they're going to see the heavy C split come into play. Dapper already helping get some mid control here. They've already drone seeds, seen that all the close angles are clear. The only thing they don't have clear is back sight and the back halls itself. But Poach and company getting mid control, denying Dapper's lurk, and giving themselves man advantage on what's going to be a C retake. 
So BBG and mining their P's and Q's and playing this out as well as you could hope for so far. Can they capitalize now, though? Oh my goodness, critical with the shock darts. The kill's gonna be traded right back though as Poach gets on the board for a second through the smoke. Tens will fall. Throwing it back, they have the neural theft. They have the op in the hands of our car, so they're well set up for this A attack. Now there are two rotators as well out of position. They're having to basically give up B and just guard the garage position and long C. Mm -hmm. And they're, they're, nothing is really tipping them to rotate just yet, so this could be a problem. Even that can doesn't really tell them much. That does. No. Yeah, nice paranoia. Poach actually gonna find the first one to 10, so that running back still looking to get value and said it's dapper. Will use one of his own and they just run down the body. Sentinels find three quick kills on this site, traded for one. And in a 2v4 retake, I mean, you're probably looking at another save here, Dad. Yeah, it's tough. I mean, he spots a lot with that drone, and Bjorn tries to come in, but he gets Ooh. caught by the cam. Critical, nice little shock dart there. Gets me, turns it back into a. Two on three, and again, there is the Neural Theft in play for BR. If he gets that kill, maybe they actually can do it. Critical Ooh. comes in as well. It's only one left. It's sick. It does have some utility. Blaze wall, curve ball, hot hands all available. Flash comes through. BR trying to find the spray down. There goes the hot hands. The kill to come through. And do they have the time Ooh, and the angle? Yes, they do. We are not... Look at Critical's drone getting so much intel at middle. What does he take, though? And well, there's the spike. Imposter down through the smoke of the cyber cage. Well, is able to grab one critical back to the drawing board, finding kills on his counterpart. Cypher v Cypher, Soba v Soba in this round and tens. Trying to do anything he can with the close angles. Shot through the box. The operator, unfortunately, not going to find too much. Uh, and they have to find a way as, I mean, they're just going to nest egg right on top of oh, Mama yeah. Bird on this seaside. I love the discipline. They are not facing Sentinels in any type of unnecessary angles, right? They have the spike down, they have a cam set up, they have crossfires established, and they are not looking to overextend. They're looking to ride this one out. Rocker on that flank. Misses Ooh. the shot, but I mean, who cares? Critical is just mowing them down, gets the hat trick on the round. John tends might also be on that sheriff. Our car looks Aww. away at the wrong time. That's Operator down. Now Tens could look to pick that one up. Should he leap onto the site? As Sick finds another looking to tie us up once more. The sheriff starting to come online. And Will now needs to hold it down through the smoke. He'll go in the neural theft to give out the information. I don't want to count him out. But Dust, it is looking pretty yeah. difficult in the 2v5. I do think Sentinels may have wrapped the bow on this one. Particularly with that neural theft, it's kind of the insurance possible to get that final bit of information. They had such a clean take, just getting that operator down on B, being able to just run everything according to planned on this round for Sentinels. Only losing one player along the way, Poach only man standing, and we've seen some clutches, but this, okay, come on now. Poach able to find two. Paranoia might find the third. He does do just that. Now in a 1v1. Needs to find Zoms and he is very healthy and rearing to do so. Looking to clutch to the back of the site. Playing the ring around the Rosie and a 4k for Poach to clutch it up for a two round lead. I don't get it, Tanner. How does this keep happening? There's it just when you've just done that, how do you lose? And another read over towards C. We're gonna find that kill onto tens, and the Hunter's Fury's gonna be traded out. Sick gets one back, as does Zomps. They're trying to right their wrongs for the last round, but even with the disadvantage, you cannot count out this build by Gamers Ross. So the spike down on the ground, Poach going back to his killing ways. Six out of the last ten in the last few rounds. Now Shazam with 30 HP has to become an absolute. Yeah. And that's. It really feels like that's the result of, you know, everybody's been saying it. When you're at the top, everybody's watching your tapes, and they're finding the kills traded right back, though. Tens able to pick one up, but the buddy system on a map with three sites, it still continues to work for BBG. Again, I can recall one round this entire series so far where BBG has not had an immediate response frag to a pick from Sentinels. And that was the opening op pick Tens got at middle, like, mm -hmm. second half of Ascent. It has been so crisp from BBG to be, you know, on top of the ball. And now they're trying to go for this quick attack. Great hot hands to slow down this attack, though. That must be said. Great job from Sick there. He's doing a great job stalling this attack and for them to, forcing them to divert. And Will force to use his own there. As Bjor spots out Zom's back of the head. The shots will land. Trying to trade it back and forth. The shot guard go out from Shazam. Oh, Ghost be Ghost. And Bjor comes out on top. And Sentinels are starting to fall apart. Sick, the last one standing. And sure, had a pretty good hot hands earlier. But now needs to find four kills on top of it. And he's not able to do it. In a formality anyway. But we'll see that round tick the 10 here very shortly. 
unless somehow Sentinels pull off some type of crazy death by a thousand paper cuts type situation with these pistols, <laughs> but it's doubtful, especially with Will coming in behind. And there's that flank just mowing them down. Yori's able to pick one to kick things off. Swaps on over to the Ghost. Intense is able to get one, only hurting the economy of that one. So Will, maybe not going to be in the best bonus. As Zombs picks up a weapon, even with the upgrade, Critical going to come out. Like, I haven't yeah. really seen that use so much. That was kind of crazy to pull that out now. But here comes the run at back. Ooh. The heaps of information though, Paranoia to slow things down, curveball, Will goes to the back of the site and cuts down too, but Tens is there to battle right back, trying to escape away, but again, the buddy system online for BBG, because we find ourselves Ooh. in a 2v2, the spike going down, sick on the flank once more, and this one not going to get sniffed down, Post able to sneak no away, the shots go wide, and Post sets him down, Dapper comes out of heaven, Will with the 3k, and Sentinels completely fucked. even be a part of it, in fact, it's looking very likely they won't be. Well, here we go. This round going to be very telling. It's a force up coming out from Sentinels, buying everything they can to try and stop match point. But Poach on the board first. Now running out of time. They're going to split the uprights. No, Shazam finds it on a critical again. That's a huge kill to have as 10. He's going to go up top, but he gets sat down again. Fortunately, Sick able to back him up. Yor will do just the same. And it's all down to the last a 1v1. The Cyphers, the Judge, and Dapper will find the round win to keep Sentinels hanging on. Essentially to land regulation at least and it will be a, a full buy i believe rifles across the board off shot from 10 is gonna net the first kill but traded right back and bjor is there to sit the operator down the hunter's fury bjor to find another there's a neural theft for the information but sick the run it back the flank the information with the spike planted it will be sent back from whence it came and critical still alive and kicking raw car looking to go on the aggressive 30 hp in a dream Will be sat down. 2v2 once more. Dapper no longer no longer alive to clutch this time around mm. as built by gamers. Look to push this one to match point. Yeah, no alts. It all comes down to aim and teamwork. That's a great paranoia. Maybe no time though. Critical able to find the first kill. Completely void of the paranoia. Zom's looking to get on the side. Has to find two kills. G again. I can't commend them enough on their game planning and their execution of that strat book. And then Sentinels again, you'd be locked. Early control over towards A main in that sewers area is going to be given up by Zoms and even more over towards C long has been sniffed out by Poach. So Nose Dapper is there. Critical to find that first kill. No, okay. He doesn't Huge. know Dapper is there. Now we're even in that neural theft online. There's a lot of time on the clock. Sure. So maybe a bit premature to get all that info. Yeah, it's just like you can't guarantee you'll get another opportunity to do that, right? Mm -hmm. So you might as well take it where you can. And at least it denies BBG a chance to capitalize on a very early push somewhere. They've had to kind of wait things right. out. It allows, you know, Sentinels to readjust their own personnel. That's going to be a quick dash in for the plant. It's been spotted, but it can't be stopped, it seems. Or never mind, Tins is trying. Ooh. No, the plant goes down. Dapper is able to find the kill, but with the spike down, BBG, they get to play the retake. They're down a player. Health bars are low. Will looking to spray through the smoke. Taking some damage in response. Bjor on the flank finds one. But a fuse now being stuck by Shazam. No, he's forced to hop off. The kills will come.